Welcome back to another Sozi tutorial. In this video, we're going to be creating a simple Sozi presentation from scratch. We're going to learn about lots of the different settings over here and some more things that we didn't learn in the last video. And we're going to be creating our artwork in Inkscape. So if you don't already have Inkscape installed or if you're not sure how to use it, you may want to check out some of my other videos to learn how to get set up and started using just the basics of Inkscape. Um, it's a free and open source program as well. It's a great program for creating vector art and all kinds of digital uh, graphic design. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to File and then we're going to go to Document Properties because we want to have our project be the same size as the screen that we're going to display it on. And since I'm assuming we're, this is a presentation like if you're a teacher you may be presenting this to the class or maybe you're doing a business idea pitch or something. So it's probably going to be on a computer screen and those are usually 1920 by 1080 pixels. So we'll change this to pixels, and then we'll just change this so that it's 1920 to 1080. This doesn't really matter as much in Inkscape as it does in Sozi, where we'll set the these width and height to the same thing there as well. Then we can click this button here when we're done, and we see we have a nice widescreen aspect ratio here. And so now we just need to decide what do we want to display. We can grab some text and say, uh, welcome to my presentation. And then we can uh, we can stylize this around if we want to as well. We can change it to maybe like a blue color, and we can add a background. Maybe we want this to be sort of a wacky yellow background here. And again, this is not a tutorial teaching how to use um, Inkscape, but I'm just going to quickly um, kind of show you what we would do. So we create our first slide here roughly like this. Maybe we'll shrink this down a little bit. So the first slide is going to look maybe like this, and then we can have our next slide. It, and we don't have to do it like slides either. We could just copy this whole thing and go control D and duplicate and have a couple different slides here. Um, but instead, we, since we have control of the camera and since we can zoom in infinitely, we could, for example, put a star here. Maybe we'll do a green star. And then inside this green star will be our next uh, point. So we can have inside here, we can grab some more text and say, my name is TJ which that's only my screen name, by the way. My real name is Rendon. Um, we'll resize this down here, and then we can sort of change the way this is angled, and maybe we'll make this a red mm, color, or a darker green. Okay, cool, so we'll do this. And now what we can do is we can zoom in even further. I'm zooming in by hitting the plus key on the keyboard, and what I might wanna do is have the next point say, um, free software is awesome and uh, I can resize this it's going the same size that I was at earlier and this is if you're confused on what's happening here you may have to watch this video over again it'll make sense what I'm doing here I'm just creating sort of this like nested image where we go smaller and smaller and smaller which is one of the advantages of uh, vector graphics is that we can change the size, we can zoom into it uh, without having to, uh, without losing resolution or lo losing image quality. So we'll put this right here on the side of this. Uh, that's kind of how we want it. I might just adjust this a little bit here. And then just to show you, we can bring in, like if I, I have some pictures here. In fact, I was gonna do a little thing different here. I have this keyboard I built a while ago and maybe we want to show off part of this keyboard so I can show the wire part. You can actually just drag an image in. So it doesn't have to be just vector art. You can drag an image into Inkscape and it comes in in its full resolution, but we can change that too. So maybe the final thing we want to see when we're zoomed in here is what is this keyboard here. And this keyboard, we can shrink it down and put it, let's put it way teeny tiny inside the O of this awesome but it'll still show up great in full resolution. And like I was saying, this is an image, uh, this right here. We can put this over top of it. Uh, yeah, more or less. Uh, let's zoom out here, did I mess anything up? Okay, that works. So now we're not even gonna use these other things over here. Um, we'll delete these because I didn't end up going that direction. And then we'll just resize this whole thing to kind of fill our whole canvas more or less. And now actually I'm gonna move this too to like right up here. And we can even angle all of this stuff. 
Perfect. Okay, excellent. Now we can just save this here. So we go file, and we need to go, uh, we can do save or save as, doesn't really matter, because it's the first time we're saving it. I'm gonna save it on my desktop, and I'll call it um, my prez, presentation dot svg so it's important that it's a dot svg file and we'll click save okay so we're done with the inkscape part now we can close out of this and we see on the desktop i have this file now called my svg so we're going to open that file in sozi which is opened up right here so i click open an svg from my computer and i navigate to my desktop where i saved it and i click on this file and click open so now we see it here but if you notice there's a white bar at the top and the bottom and that's because Remember, we set that to a 16 to 9 ratio. Well, actually, we set it to 1920 by 1080, which is a 16 to 9 ratio. And so now, um, and then we can zoom in a little bit with our scroll wheel to get rid of those the white bars on the side. So maybe this is how I want the presentation to look like when we very first get into it. And, and so it's a nice wide screen. It's going to fill the whole projector area or the whole TV area that I'm presenting on. And now we need to add our first... Um, our first frame, or our first scene, our first uh, thing that we're going to be talking about. And so this is called New Frame. And I'll, I'll maybe I'll call this one Welcome. So this is, and I'll hit Enter. So this is the, the Welcome. And then the next frame, what I want to do is zoom in on this star over here. So I'm going to add another frame. And then um, this one will be called Star. This is very similar to what we did in the, in the last tutorial. And so what we're going to do is zoom in here. And I can zoom in with the scroll wheel and then left click and move around. And then we can grab the rotate tool because I want this to rotate to be sort of up like this. And it's a little bit, you almost get like some vertigo. Like it's a little bit strange to, to, to remember what's happening here. And so what we can do is left click now between slide one and slide two. So this is the, the second part of my thing that I'm telling people. So I'm saying welcome. I'm saying, hey, my name's TJ. And looks like our text didn't render exactly how I wanted it to, but we'll click add another one and we'll call this one awesome because it says uh, free software is awesome, I think is what that says. So now we're gonna zoom in even more here and we'll rotate again. Oh, you know what? It's, uh, did I change the text? I forget. It might be that font that I was using, but I don't think I changed the font. So let's just go into here. Uh, and so we'll just have this free software is awesome part. And then that image looks like it's unfortunately a little bit behind um, there, but we'll just add in our next frame here and we'll just zoom in right here to this image. And, uh, oh, let's see here, let's rotate. And that's actually doing a crop, which we didn't really want. Or maybe it's getting, that might be getting to the limit of how far in we can zoom. Let's go up to our crop tool and see why that's cropping in like that. So crop, um, those white bars we were getting on the side um, is from cropping in and it might be, yeah, it's just getting in so far in there that it's cropping in. So maybe there is a limit to how far in we can zoom. I think we're hitting that. But in any event, we have this one, two, three, four. So this is kind of cool things. And I, I can have talking points to, talking about all that. Well, now let's look at the different options we have over here. So this frame one um, is called welcome. And there's an ID for the frame. We'll play with that in the future. Uh, right here, the duration is how long it takes to get from frame one to frame two. Right now, it's set to one second. So we go one, 1,000, and we're to the next frame. But we could change this if I wanted to. I could change this to five seconds. And we can go one, did I hit enter? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. The transition two. So this one, it doesn't really matter what we do on it. So two is where we want this transition. We want it to be five seconds transitioning into this one or away from it. So we have five seconds going away from that star and also five seconds going to that star. Does that make sense? But then the next one going to this awesome will just be one second again. Or we can change that to 0 0.5 seconds. So it'll be very, very fast zoom in there. Um, something else we can do is we can do sort of this, uh, if we scroll down there's more options. There's a, there's a bar here we can scroll down with or we can use our scroll wheel when we're hovered over this area. And this relative zoom is pretty cool. What it lets us do is, I'm going to come out here, oh boy, um, 
I'm going to uh, add in another frame. So whenever you hit this plus, it kind of just copies the current frame you're on. So now we have two of these welcome frames. And so now if, I, if all I want to do is create something subtle, like we start at the welcome and then we end over here at this other part of the welcome. Oh, I had my, uh, I'm gonna do undo because I had my crop tool selected. We'll go to here. So this just creates this sort of panning across the words. But if we want to, we can change this relative zoom and we can do negative uh, 100, let's say, and hit enter. And what that's going to do is it's going to kind of hop between those. You see that now it bounces away, it sort of jumps out. And if we did 100, it would jump in. So it zooms in and then back out. So this relative zoom does kind of pulls the camera either away from the work or towards the work as it transitions. So play with that. Play with the, the this relative zoom a little bit to kind of create that and uh, play with some of these things. Oh, let's, let's show that crop. If we wanted to, let's get rid of that. And let's have this be, we could add in another one here. So this, this welcome, we could just have this part crop into just the word to. So the way crop works is we select the crop tool and then we just move the window. So the camera is staying the same, but the, kind of the viewport is, uh, we can shrink it down to just a certain area. So we're shrinking it down to just this word two. And so what that's gonna do is it's gonna start here and then it goes to that word two and then it's gonna jump back out to this presentation. So kind of interesting, but um, yeah, you can create some cool, you can see how very quickly you could almost create a cool little animation. I forgot to mention you can use something like uh, Open Broadcaster software to record a video of this as well. So you could conceivably create like an intro animation for your YouTube channel, or you could create a video tutorial or something using this as your as your animation software. It, it has some limitations, but um, anyway, this video is getting a little bit long, so I think I'm gonna stop this here. Oh, I just wanna show you to save it. You click this button here. It automatically saves every time you navigate away from the window. And those settings are right here. You can click on this and change the settings, how that works. But um, we hit save, and then we just minimize, and we see on the desktop here, it's already created an HTML file for us. So if I open up this HTML file, we see we can see this whole presentation happening in the web browser, just like it was. This is just a regular, um, it's like a modified Chrome web browser. This is the Brave browser. But it's just a regular web browser. We could open this in Firefox uh, or Chrome or Safari or anything. So there's some well there's some other options we can do. We're going to in the future we'll talk about adding new layers. We can animate only certain objects of the SVG at a time and have certain ones appear at a certain time, which is pretty cool. And then maybe we'll dive into also playing with the HTML a little bit and embedding these um, get some more features into using it in a website. So thanks for watching. Um, hopefully I didn't uh, I, we covered a lot of information there. So um, go ahead and leave any questions below if you have any um, or your comments about using Sozi, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.